Hello and welcome. Well, I don't know why I'm really doing this video. Probably because I'm impressed, probably because I'm annoyed. I don't, I don't know, but um, this video is mainly about a new USB flash drive I've purchased. Um, it's not this one. This is kind of my old one. I've just changed the lighting. Right, now that the lighting's a little bit better, sorry about that. Uh, I remember getting this this uh, USB stick quite a while ago. Um, it's a 16 gig, made in China. I got this about four years ago, four or five years ago. I'm thinking, 16 gig, look how small it is, it's tiny, 16 gig for a, uh, you know, a USB stick. I remember when one gig was such a big, big deal. I remember when you could have like a 200 and 200 something meg memory you know flash drive um, or half a gig and then one gigs came out and everyone was like whoa one gig on a on a USB stick and so like four or five years ago I got this this 16 gig um, stick and uh, I think I got it for about 15 20 quid something like that so it wasn't, didn't break the bank it wasn't hugely expensive and I thought oh crikey that's that's amazing 16 gig yeah um, and recently I've put it in my PlayStation 4 and um, tried to download some of the videos, the footage I've done because PlayStation, I've, I've tried linking my YouTube account, it won't work, I've gone into the Google security settings, you know the Google Plus security settings, I can't get it to work for whatever reason um, and even if I could I'd probably just uh, download my own video off of YouTube, put it into iMovie or Final Cut and then edit it. Um, so I'd be uploading it, it's taking bandwidth and I don't think that I can do anything else on my PlayStation while that's happening. Then I'd be downloading it off of my YouTube, more bandwidth. Then I'd be editing it in iMovie or whatnot and then exporting it out of that. That takes, you know, half an hour to an hour. Uh, then I'd be uploading it again, which you know would take another half an hour to an hour, depending. So all in all, that process can take hours. So I thought, okay, right, well, I'll just copy the footage onto a USB stick. <laughs> so <laughs> put this USB stick in, uh, and it's USB um, 2.0 flash drive. Um, looking at all the the data transfer and things, I think San, SanDisk are a little bit uh, secretive about the speed and things like that. Um, they don't really go into too much detail about the the speed. Um, yeah, they don't really tell you much about the speed anywhere if you try and have a look on Amazon or wherever it doesn't really show it's very very difficult to find um, but anyway so I thought okay well you know I'll try this put it into the PlayStation selected all the videos copied them onto the onto this and it popped up with this astronomical figure of about of about eight hours or something to copy like a gig or two gigs like a gig or two gigs eight hours I was like what is going on it's just putting it to a USB stick it's flash memory as well it's not like it's having to you know write it on a on an actual physical you know like like a normal like a hard disk so I thought okay well find a way around this uh, and the main reason I'm using the USB stick is because the upload feature and then down, you know, I have to, have to upload it, then download it, edit it, export it, upload it again. So I thought, well, I might as well put it on a stick, then put it on the computer, then edit it, export it, upload it. That seems like less processes and it doesn't. And the other way, there's just more things to go wrong. You you Every time you do that, it's affecting the quality, and I know the qual the quality is pretty bad anyway, because I think the PlayStation only kind of records in 720. And this is my workaround until I get an Elgato um, uh, capture card, which I will be getting shortly. But this is just my workaround at the moment. So I thought, right, get a different USB stick, get a a, a, a USB 3 flash drive. So I went and got one of these bad boys, which is a SanDisk. Uh, USB 3 
extreme. You know it's serious when it says extreme on it. And this little puppy, I think this one did transfer speed of about 20 or 30, if that. This one can do up to 245 megabytes per second. Um, it's absolutely crazy. It's 45, they say it's 45 times faster than a normal USB 2. And you can tell it's USB 3 because I think USB 3 has the blue inside. So that cost me about 20 quid when it came out or whenever I bought it. This I think is about 40 pounds but it's a 64 gig so you're getting four times the memory and 45 times faster for 64 gig for 40 quid which is crazy and it's backwards compatible with USB 2 of course so you know the thing I wasn't too sure about is this this little function here that pops it out because I always thought okay what happens when you put it in a drive well it kind of kind of locks it but I'd much rather have a a fixed one I mean I know it's exposed and things but you can throw these both of these things in the water do whatever it's they're bomb proof pretty much um, now so I've given you the price giving the capacity and the speed uh, I mean Sometimes it says uh, speeds of up to 190 megs. Sometimes it says 245 meg megabits per second. Um, there we go. Uh, what you've also got, though, in both of them is this SanDisk Secure Access. So you can make basically make a, uh, a you, you you can store your private files in a password protected folder um, with 128 bit encryption, which is what a lot of the websites use when you go and buy stuff. And they use a similar encryption method. Um, but that has improved it. I mean, they say that you can transfer like a full length movie in less than 10 seconds. Well, that's kind of quite true, actually. Uh, now, the PlayStation, because it's, a th because it's got USB 3 as well, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if it utilises it, but... Um, Going from hours onto a USB 2 to this USB 3, I downloaded all of my videos of Far Cry, which is about a gig, in about 5-6 minutes, which is reasonable. It's a lot quicker on the computer, trust me on that. If you're moving big files around uh, on your Mac or your PC, use one of these. It's a lot faster than what I've just quoted if you're using your, your PlayStation. I don't know why... Um, it's slower on that, but either way, uh, this is just phenomenally fast. So if you're moving lots and lots of really high megapixel pictures, lots of HD movie, even 4K, I would say, if you're moving uh, 4K video, um, you know, that's like uh, 5 or 10 or 20 gigs uh, now and again, if you're moving that around from computer to computer or whatever, and you want to do it fast, this is kind of like the thing to get. Um, if you don't have a capture card and you haven't got the money for a capture card, um, but you've got, um, got the money for one of these uh, and you don't want to upload it to YouTube and then download it, edit it, all the rest of it, you just want you want the footage off your PlayStation um, and you want a kind of a workaround, this is the best thing to go for. Do you need 64 gig? I just went for 64 because, well, that's the biggest. Um, and I've, it's always better to have more than you actually need um, just in case one day you might actually need it uh, because otherwise you have too little um, and if you have too little then you might want more and obviously you don't even have that capacity to, you know, to, you, to, to, to have more because it's a, it's a fixed amount uh, so now that that rants over, um, you'd be happy with a 16 gig. 16 gig is like cheaper than what this cost me. Uh, same same size, but the, it's the transfer speed that you really want to be getting one of these for. Um, like I said, 240 meg megabits um, per second speed write is just just phenomenal. Um, so 17 quid will get you a 16 gig one. That would be enough if you uh, honestly if you. Uh, record 
about an hour's worth of gameplay on the PlayStation Share function or whatnot. Uh, that's only going to be um, two or three gigs at most, if that. So you can you can record hours and hours worth, I'd say, of on PlayStation footage because it's only 720p. So it's not like it's 1080. It's not you know huge. Hopefully, PlayStation will change that in the future. Um, but if it's just 720. You can you can record hours and hours. So a 16 gig for 18 quid is a very very good workaround at the moment, um, rather than using their upload feature, especially if you want to edit it. Yeah, you can edit it in YouTube, but not many people really do that. And um, you want to kind of edit it on some kind of free movie editor, uh, like Sony Vegas or um, you know iMovie or you know whatever you you like to use. You know, use that. So, 18 quid is a very good workaround for someone who wants to get their movies off of their PlayStation, put them onto a USB stick, put them onto the computer, edit them, and then upload them. Because at the end of the day, you you might be limited in funds. You might not be able to just go out and buy a 140 pound uh, capture card, and also your computer might be a bit crap. It might not be able to handle 1080p. Um, so that, and also your internet might not be incredible you might not have fiber optic or whatnot so that you can't upload um videos so there's a couple of things there you've got the speed of your computer whether it can handle uh 1080p from a capture card and all the software and things um and you've got your internet speed whether it can be uploaded in 1080p uh, and then there's the cost aspect can you afford 140 quid so uh i mean obviously I am going to get a capture card, but, uh, and this is a workaround because of the, the YouTube kind of aspect, doesn't really want to upload, and because I like to have my videos on my computer, um, as I mentioned at the start, this is a great workaround for like 18 quid, you can get a USB 3 stick and a flash drive, sorry, uh, I'll just call it USB stick, and um, you can essentially get all your videos off your PlayStation, put them on your computer, edit them, export them and upload them and that's a really good kind of cheap value way of uploading your YouTube footage. That's my tip, uh, hope you've enjoyed that, hope you found that useful. That's what I'm using at the moment, uh, like I said before, we're be getting a capture card so I'll be using that but this is a very good workaround and um, it allows you to get all your videos and things very quickly and you, obviously you can use it for other things, it's not just for that but uh, I thought I'd do this video because it might help someone um, who didn't want to get a capture card and maybe the computer isn't as, as fast or anything um, and maybe their internet isn't that good to be uploading 1080 it might be good enough for 720 but might not be for, for uh, 1080 so it's a good little workaround anyway Thanks for watching, hope it's helped. Take care.